Now, you may have seen this. Travis Kelsey was at game one of the World Series on Friday night. That game was played in Arlington, Texas. Two days later, the Chiefs were blown out in Denver, and Kelsey did not have a good game. Their entire offense didn't have a good game. All of this did not sit well with legendary Chiefs kicker Nick Lowry, who posted on Facebook, I'm just going to say this once. I adore my Chiefs. I love Patrick. I love Travis. And it's been fun witnessing the Taylor factor as long as it's not a distraction. However, when I saw Travis watching the World Series in Texas on a Friday night before a road game, do I have to finish the sentence? We don't know what time he got home on Friday night, but it's a distraction and it's not a good message to the rest of the team. Come on. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I have a feeling I'm not getting a lot yet. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting a lot of support for his position here. My man Nick is high. He's high. He's high. Come, on, <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Let, We're let's, okay with it. First of all, as er, Mount Everest. Yeah, he's a tight end, right? That's first off. So, like, he knows his gig. He's pretty good at it. Go go in the Hall of Fame to go do it. Uh, if you were talking about Rob Gronkowski on a Friday night, would it cause any concern? This dude went to a baseball game. By the way, he had, I'm, I'm sure he can afford Robert or Taylor did. got him that jet to go there <laughs> and back. So all, all was fine. He was probably in bed by one. Most <laughs> NFL players on a Friday night are not in bed by one. I'm just going to let you all know, not a ton of choir boys in the NFL, especially early in their career. When you talk about Travis Kelsey and what this guy has accomplished, it, it, I mean, come on. It just, it, it, you earn the right to go out on yeah. Friday. You do. If you him. Like, if you are first him. Of all, who the hell is Lowry? I don't know. He's a kicker. He's okay. a great kicker. Did he, did he win a Super Bowl? He's in the Chiefs Hall of Fame. That's great. Okay. He did not win a Super Bowl. All right. Bowl. All right. <laughs> uh, Travis Kelsey going to be in When they the won NFL the Super Bowl, their kicker was Jan Stenerud. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> great. Uh, we've we've not heard Kelsey from him on this. We yeah. the glass. <laughs> we the glass. If he say something, let me know. All right. But this is much to do about nothing. I was in Dallas when Tony Romo went to Mexico. Cabo, yeah. Cabo. What, bro, what, what are we supposed to do? That's that's what I was asking. What are we supposed to do? Just sit in a dark room, watch film, do nothing. Yeah. Just live, sleep, like, eat, breathe, I mean, and do nothing else. Get out of here, dude. The dude is, he's arguably the best tight end ever. Right. Not not now. Right. Ever. I to think play the, the game. bigger problem was Taylor is in Argentina. That, the, the biggest <laughs> problem, and we showed it, it. I mean, put it up on We listen, did that research. You know, Bruh. like Greenies clearly showed, this is what happened. If Taylor is in attendance, <laughs> we're balling. Right now, the kryptonite is she's in Argentina. Mm -hmm. Can we get that plane to go back and forth? I mean, Greeny, put this thing together. Well, first You're of all, Swifty, came you got it. I, I'll do everything I can. I got my friendship bracelet going <laughs> on. I want to know what the surprise <laughs> song is tonight in Buenos Aires. <laughs> listen to me, Tay Tay is worth 10 Tay -tay. points a game? Tay Tay. Tay Tay. Tay -tay. <laughs> 10 Tay -tay. points a game. Mm -hmm. Is it all a distraction? All kidding aside, Travis oh. Kelsey and his obvious desire to be a significant celebrity at a reality show, all that kind of stuff. Clearly, it has not kept him from being, as Marcus says, one of the greatest tight ends that ever lived. Is any of this a distraction? No, because his career has shown you that he takes care of business. Like, yes, they had a bad game, but it wasn't like Kelsey was the only bad issue for this Chiefs offense. I think some, some players... They're all supposed to be treated fairly, but not the same. Like, Travis Kelsey is not one of what. He's just different. He's a different yeah. dude, and he should be afforded different privileges. Okay, he's listen, got, man. He didn't catch for 150 and two touchdowns. Right. right. Somebody cry. Right. Okay, <laughs> last week he did, yeah. and I get all of this Taylor Swift stuff. I, I remember talking about Travis Kelsey before we knew him and Taylor Swift. Was right. Actually, he was winning Super Bowls yeah, right. before good. him and Taylor Swift was pretty good. Okay, so let's let's pump the brakes. The man living. He's yeah. he's actually living, and yeah. a lot of people gonna get mad about that. But the hell with him, because I feel him. I'm <laughs> yeah. the same way. Hey, man, live your life, he's man. A, he's afforded it, right? He's like, afforded he, he's it. Good yeah, you to earn go the right. Go do that. Not everybody can go. You do earn that. the right to and, do and, it. And, and by the way, if the other guys catch the ball on the team, yes. it, it would probably help. Yeah, it would probably help a lot. There's probably two Kelsey century. That's the problem yeah. right there, right now. If you're just waking up, again, breaking news while you were sleeping last night: the Las Vegas Raiders have fired their head coach. Josh McDaniels and their general manager, David Ziegler. This came while you were sleeping last night. Antonio Pierce has been named the team's interim head coach. We will have much more on this as we go today. In the meantime, let's do Factor Fiction. This one, all looking ahead to the Cowboys-Eagles showdown. Swagoo, if I said Dak Prescott's having the best season of his career, is that Factor Fiction? That's a fiction. Listen, I think <laughs> Dak, back when, when he first got into the league, and he was a phenomenal athlete using his legs, mm. and there was Zeke Elliott. This team was a more run-heavy uh, team. He was more accurate. Dak is a really good quarterback, man.
Like, don't get it twisted, but this is not uh, his best year. He's playing well, though. Kmart, let's talk yes. about A.J. Brown. If I said he should be in the MVP conversation, is that fact or fiction? No, with Greeny, the answer is fact. This yeah. man has six straight games of at least 125 Ooh. receiving yards. That is the longest streak in NFL history. At this point, all the Eagles, if they're in trouble on offense, all they got to say, Jalen just has to say is, screw it. AJ's down there somewhere. <laughs> let me just let it go. Yeah. And Rex said it the other day. It's not a 50-50 ball if he's on the other side of it. Uh, Jeff, if I said an Eagles win Sunday ends the race in the NFC East, is that fact or fiction? That's fiction. Look, they're going to play Dallas again. I mean, you're talking about a team. It's not like the Eagles are just running away with everybody. They've had a great season so far, but they are—they do have some vulnerabilities. It's a big game, but they got to play it again. Long, a lot of season left. Y'all. Yeah. We're halfway through. A lot left. Yeah, I have no question about it, but this one does feel like it. It's huge. A little extra juice, and I want you to hear what Jerry Jones had to say about it on the radio yesterday. What you talking about, Jerry? This is serious sh- that we're dealing with up here, <laughs> Sunday man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've got to really uh, have our game face on, and Philadelphia is a tough place to uh, uh, get your momentum going. Jerry, his own bleep. Jerry. I like that very much. But hold on. I got my notes right here. Let's say say, Kmart, bleep. what does it say next to your name? Kmart says this is a must win for the Cowboys. Mm. Tell me why. Because Jerry just said it. This is some serious stuff, guys. Because <laughs> um, think about it. When we look at the Cowboys, it's really about these matchups against the good teams and the extremely good teams in the NFC. The 49ers. We saw how they fared against mm. the 49ers. The Eagles in their own division the Seahawks, the Lions. Like, that is really what it's about. It's about can the Cowboys be the best team in the NFC? Can they get to the NFC title game? Can they get to a Super Bowl? That's how we're going to be looking at this team. And it starts in their own division. The Eagles, this is a division, we've talked about it. There's been no repeat winner in this division in... 20 years. As long as I've been alive. (laughs) So so, uh, the door is completely open for the Cowboys. But in these moments, Marcus, Marcus always talks about the moments. Dak and this offense have to show up and they have an opportunity. My beloved former Cowboy, is it a must win for Dallas? It is. It is. There are, there are certain wins. Jeff, you know, oh, you know what I'm yeah. saying. It's a lot of season left, but the yeah. psychological part of it, bro, you don't think that there was a th- that there was a pulse after that 49ers game of doubt, mm-hmm. the way they got dominated and what they thought they were? You can't have that again. Like, these are the teams you're going to have to see. We're not, we're not talking about Dallas in the context of winning some regular season games. Right. I said that before the season started, I was like, Dallas going to get in the playoffs. Yeah. They're going to have success during the season. They probably win 11, 12 games this year and have success going down the road. But th- this is about this team believing that they have enough to compete with the guys that are going to be at the top. And when I say enough, like, who do you think Dallas roster – is as good as the Philadelphia Eagles? No. If you lose to the Eagles by 20, and you just got blasted by the 49ers mm-hmm. playing that playing against that team, yeah. you got more games down the road against some really good teams. It's the psychological part for me that makes it a must win. Will they have another shot? Yeah, they play them twice. Right, yeah. right. Will they have another shot in the playoffs? Potentially. The psychological part, though, I think is a big deal for the Dallas Cowboys players. Maybe not this organization or the media or the fans, but the players themselves, they got to be able to go toe-to-toe with Philly. You know what I found funny? When Jerry Jones said uh, earlier, I don't want to poke the bear. Let's not, let's not poke the bear. Yeah. That, on, that, that, and the idea that Dak is like, pour some honey on me. He's pouring honey. Let's yeah. go. He's pouring honey like, on himself in a fight with a bear. Is, this is Jeffrey. Talk this to is, me, Jeff. Bro, bro, you, you got a business guy talking about don't poke the bear. That, 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 ain't, that ain't how we think about it. Poke the bear, bro. We're, gonna go, we, we're about we're to go, go get this fight for 60 minutes, bro. It's on. Poke the bear. Smack the bear. You know, whatever you got to do to the bear, let's get this thing on. Like, Dak, like, like the, the, the football players – of the Dallas Cowboys ain't scared of the Eagles. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. They ain't afraid of it. They beat them. They beat them last. Like, they're not afraid of what this team can do. They're not like, oh, man, mentally we got this edge or whatever. I thought San Fran had a clearly better roster. I said it the week they played. I think the Cowboys match up better with the Eagles than they did the 49ers. When you look at the Eagles, they, they, their ratio is like 16 touchdowns to four interceptions, which is like bottom in the league right now. Dak and CD have to go play well. They, the Cowboys can't line up and go be more physical than the Eagles. I'm going to let you know, on both sides of the line of scrimmage, but if they can run the ball enough, if they can slow it down, and if Dak and CD play to the level they can play to, they could go beat the Eagles. I did not feel that way when they played the 49ers the first time. I, 
Listen, Jeff, I'm with you, bro. And the line of scrimmage has been the problem, though. For sure. That's been the Especially problem in this matchup, man. Yeah. Like, so so a lot of a lot of what we do during the week as players is we try to figure out, okay, where are our advantages and how do we how do we like eliminate these weaknesses or mask them? Yeah. Well, when you playing against Philly, if you Dallas over the past couple of years, that weakness can't be hidden. Right. Like, it's going to be at the line of scrimmage. This offensive line has had their way yeah. against the Dallas Cowboys. That's why, for me, yeah. the psychological part comes it's into play. And we know play. when you can't run the football against this team, yeah, it gets, what's it eventually going to happen. Right. And by the way, this is not my area of expertise, but before I run off to college football, does anyone else feel like we're interrupting Jeff from a hunting trip as we <laughs> <laughs> He's got the, best, got the plaid shirt. Right? Patagonia. Does, does, I mean, ready to rock. <laughs> 